makikita natin na umabot na sa 389.06 billion ang nagagasta ng ating pahamalaan as of 28 August. At uh, ito nga po ay uh, nangyari dahil sa pagkapasaan ng Bayanihan to Heal as one act. And the government was able to shore up resources to fund critical programs, activities, and projects. Ang karamihan po sa COVID-19 budget ay napunta po sa mga programa ang nagbibigay ng tulong sa ating low-income households, displaced formal and forward workers, distressed overseas Filipino workers, and affected farmers and fisher folks. Ang Department of Social Welfare and Development po ang siyang nakakuha ng pinakamalaking uh, release po natin na umabot sa 211.6 billion Um, and for the first tranche of the implementation, the DSWD has already served 17,686,842 beneficiaries, while for the second tranche, umaput po ng 13,364,915 beneficiaries ang nakatagapon sa. Yan naman po mga beneficiaryo under the Dole Cap and Tupat Programs, DOF, SSS Small Business Wage Subsidy Program, as well as DA's Farmer Financial Assistance Program and Expanded Sure Aid and Recovery Project for Farmers and Peace Approves. Natanggap na po nila lahat ng kanila mga assistance as of August 26 of this year. Ang Department of Health naman po, ay na-release na namin ng umabot ng 48.98 billion para po uh, makabayad sila ng hazard pay, special risk allowances of deployed health workers, procurement of uh, PPEs and purchase of COVID-19 testing kits among others. 